Well, hello, folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstruck Reviews, who are here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, my favorite indoor facility, with the Mossberg Retrograde Series 590. Okay, I really like this shotgun. I'm really excited about it. 20-inch barrel, got the bent rib, just in case you need to grate some cheese for your tacos. Works great. And the last time we shot it, we found out that it was shooting a little high at 10 yards with the previous ammo. I didn't want to disclose what ammo it was because I don't want to blame the ammo because this could be an ammo combination with um, the shotgun. So, okay, so today we're going to shoot the Federal Premium Ammunition Personal Defense uh, nine pellet buckshot with a flight control wad. Two things here. This pellets are copper plated, okay? And then the next, it goes about 100, 1145 feet per second, which is almost 50 feet per second less than the previous ammo, so it's very controlled recoil on a 20 inch barrel at 10 yards. We're gonna see where this uh, ammo shoots. When I shot it out of the little um, uh, TAC-14, it gave us a really tight pattern, but fist size pattern from a 13 inch barrel at 15 yards. So we're gonna see this at um, this distance here, about 10 yards, we're gonna see how it shoots. We might have to bring that target back and shoot it a little farther away. So let's go ahead and shoot it 10 yards with this ammo. Again, I said federal premium ammunition, 1145 feet per second, one three quarter inch, nine pellet, copper plated buckshot. And of course, this is the Mossberg 590 retrograde series, a new shotgun for 2020. Let's do it. Let's go look at it. Okay, well, you can see for yourselves, most of the pellets except one went through the hole. It was probably still held inside, inside of the shot cup. So basically at 10 yards, this is a two hole gun. Basically the shot cup went there and the rest of the pellets were still inside the cup. It had an open at 10 yards. This is remarkable. If you remember when we shot the last time, we're still shooting a little high, okay, at 10 yards. We're gonna have to hold down a little more on this gun, but now I know that this gun shoots a tad high, so I need to compensate for that. So at about 10 yards, which is what we're shooting here, is about two inches high. That's not bad. And with that ammo, we're effective up to probably 20 yards. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna pace this shot up. And let's shoot it again at 15 yards and see what we can do. Let's go back there and shoot it. Okay, I decided to put up a new uh, gun sight target up and we are at 15 yards with the same ammo, which is the nine shot, nine, excuse me, nine pellet uh, copper plated uh, buck shot, number, a double out buck and it's going at 1145 feet per second with the flight control wad. Let's see how it shoots. Well guys, this is impressive. This is 15 yards from the target with this uh, flight control ammunition out of a 20 inch barrel. This is just more than impressive. The fact that only two pellets got out of the cup. I would say this is you know, overdoing it, but this ammunition really changes the, your perspective on the use of buckshot. Um, I, I, what I would say is this uh, shotgun here for home defense, you're not gonna shoot 15 yards inside of your house. That's, that's a sh for sure. Maybe for outside in kind of any type of situation that you encounter outside of your home. Yeah, you have 15 yards and this is the pattern you're gonna get. I did um, finally fine tune the shotgun where I'm aiming. I was aiming around here and I got all my shots there. So it shoots a tad high. So I'm gonna keep practicing with it and see if I can get, find an ammo that maybe brings the pattern down. But I'm really happy with the performance of this gun with this ammo. So I tell you what, this federal um, flight control ammo, personal defense ammunition, nine pellets, really good ammo. Uh, you should give it a try. You should, this is something that you can find any place. It's not 
law enforcement or anything like that. This is something that you can buy at your gun store when they have ammo at the gun store, that is. So again, thanks for watching. We'll keep um, doing more videos on this shotgun because I really, really like it. We'll do some other ammo and some other situations. We'll shoot slugs at 50 yards and see if we can, how we do with slugs at 50 yards. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and please be safe and have fun on the range. Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.